Hello and welcome to the first highlights video of the 2024 Wheelchair Rugby League season. We begin the season here at the National Basketball Performance Centre here in Manchester as we award our first trophy of the season which is the 2024 Wheelchair Challenge Trophy. Back in June of last year the Greys and Dynamite secured their fourth trophy in a row as they defeated the Sheffield Eagles in the final in Sheffield. This year they have to fend off 13 other teams who are all looking to win the trophy for this year. There's also an extra incentive to make the final as the two finalists will also compete in this year's Betfred Wheelchair Rugby League Challenge Cup. They will join the five Betfred Wheelchair Super League teams and the defending champion cup holders, the Catalan Dragons, in the quarter-final stage of the competition. That will take place later in April. But for now, on to today's games. The 14 teams have been split into three groups, with the winners and the best runners-up progressing through to the semi-finals. We, fo we first focused on Group 1. The big team of this group is the Grey's End Dynamite, and they started well with victories against the Bradford Bulls and the Wakefield Trinity Wildcats. But they came up against a very strong York City Knights side, but tries from Scottish international Michael Grant and Max Owen saw the Dynamite finish unbeaten at the top of Group 1. Group 2 saw one of the best games of the day with the former Challenge Trophy winners the Hereford Harriers coming up against the Edinburgh Giants who are participating in the trophy for the very first time. In a competitive game, it was the Giants who came up on top with a late try scored by Connor Blackmore, the Scottish international, as it gave the Giants the win by 18 points to 11. The Giants managed to win their final game against the Woodside Warriors and the Salford City Reds as they claimed first place in Group 2, while the Hereford Harriers secured the best runs up spot on points scored. Group 3 saw both the North Wales Crusaders and the Sheffield Eagles both win their first games, but they came up against each other in Round 3 of the group. In a surprise turn of events, it took a late try from Joe Simmons to give the Eagles the win with the last play of the game. They followed this up with a tense win against the Wiggins Vikings to win Group 3 and progress through to the semi-finals. Both semi-finals were really intense games. The first semi-final saw the Giants came up against the Grey's Zone Dynamite. It was the Dynamite who took control of the game with an early try, but a late sim bin for Gravesend's Michael Grant saw the Giants recover with a try and scoring two late penalties to win the game by 12 points to 8. They will play against the Hereford Harriers who won their semi-final against the Sheffield Eagles by a score of 14 points to 8. And so, on to the final. It was between the Hereford Harriers and so on to the final between the Hereford Harriers and the Edinburgh Giants. It was Hereford who came out of the blocks quickly and thanks to their Welsh international Gary Priest, the Harriers opened up an early 10 point lead. The Giants got back into a game with a penalty and a try from Blackmore and after both sides exchanged a try each, Connor Young scored a try in the corner with the very last play of the game to send the game to golden point extra time. From the resulting kickoff, the Harriers got the ball in a good position and Priest converted a drop goal to win his side the Challenge Trophy for the very first time since 2018 by a score of 6. From the resulting kickoff, the Harriers got the ball in a good position and Priest converted a drop goal to win his side the Challenge Trophy for the first time since 2018 
by a score of 17 points to 16. So here with Gary Priest, a fantastic 17-16 winning Golden Coin, your second Challenge Trophy win. Congratulations, how's Thank it you. feel? Oh, it feels good, you know, uh, come up here, play against some of the best uh, at the level that we're playing at, you know, it, it's, it's a great thing to come and, uh, come and win the trophy, so. And what way to win it in Golden Point? Golden Point, drop goal. I was just saying, I don't think I've ever hit one so nice in, <laughs> in all the time I've been playing, so. Do you get much uh, practice of that? Um, not really. I have a little bit of practice every now and again, but it, it's just, it's just, you know, it's one of those things that either works or it doesn't work. So. How does it feel to have the trophy back in the cab after like seven years of the, when you last won it? Yeah, it does feel nice. It does feel nice. We're just going to have to buy a trophy cup now, aren't we? <laughs> you got Leeds now. That puts you through to Leeds in the uh, Challenge Cup. You excited yeah. about that? Um, yeah, I suppose so. You know, going up against one of the best teams in the in the club game. Um, it will be a it will be a thing to it's an achievement to get there so you know we're all uh, go away and do some work now and get ready for that you celebrate tonight no i've got a three and a half hour drive home and then uh work tomorrow morning so no celebrating uh, well congratulations on staying well done on the win thank you very much it was a fantastic event here in manchester with some fantastic wheelchair rugby league played by all 14 teams but it was the Edinburgh Giants and the Challenge Trophy winners for 2024, the Hereford Harriers, who now move on to the Challenge Cup quarterfinals in two weeks' time. And that's where our next highlights will be from that weekend. We will see you then.